Good morning, everyone. Namaste. And uh, make sure that you mute your um, your devices so we don't cover each other's <laughs> uh, sounds. And today we're going to start with the short entry way so we practice and then at the very end I'm going to do a meditation. So there may not be Shavasana or very short, so we can do a five, seven minute meditation at the end. And you choose if you want after that, if we don't do the meditation, uh, sorry, if you don't do the Shavasana, you can do it after uh, we do the meditation at the end of the practice, okay? So let's sit tall, let your palms rest. Invite your spine to lift, close your eyes. And just take a few breaths here. <clears throat> welcoming the morning and welcoming this hour for yourself to start your day opening up and first and foremost checking in. So in, in the next few cycles, breathing deeply through your nose, big exhales, releasing, softening, grounding, and feeling you are being settled and more grounded through your base. Notice any areas, checking in with places that may feel contracted, tense or stressed. And give yourself today a chance to dig deeper into the connection of the breath, prana, energy, and the way you are moving. So with your breath, make space, find more freedom in the areas that feel tight, And notice if there's still any zone that feels tight on or constricted. See if you can relax or let go of that holding. Let's bring the palms in Namaste right in front of the heart center. And we'll take a moment today as we enter the practice to collectively expand our loving kindness and compassion to someone that may come to mind for you who may be fighting this disease or sick in this moment or in any way suffering and we'll collectively invite our thoughts, our seeds to be seeds of healing, seeds of peace, as we expand, even if we are not physically in this moment with this particular person, we are all collectively joining to unite, to be together in spirit. May we all be safe. May we all be healthy. May we all be at peace. May we all find joy. Let's open together with the OM sound. First inhaling deeply through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. Then we breathe in again. Oh. Let's bring the head gently down to the hands and the heart for a moment. 
and we release the palms, lifting the head and opening the eyes. We start the practice. Thank you for being here with me. Let's start coming onto our backs and you're going to keep your belt close by and also a block close by. We'll move, today we're going to different drills for hips and core. So um, just have your stuff close by, but we'll start just by coming onto our backs, hugging the knees into the chest. And instead of bringing them both together into the chest, open them up a little bit away from each other and let them come towards your armpits for a moment. And then create a few circles through your uh, ankles. So we are moving the feet three, four times one way. And then we reverse it the other way. You may hear some clicking or noises. It's all normal. See if you can do also a little bit of flexing and pointing through the feet and the toes. Stay there for a few cycles. So we start warming up that area before moving more. And then we go with the knees that are wide. We keep that circle until we bring them back towards each other and towards the chest and then back down and towards the ribs again. So we go like this a few times. I'm staying still in the same direction that, direction that I started for one more. And then I'm going to reverse it three to five times. Again, starting to warm up the hip flexors outer hips as well, and inner thighs. Good, then from there, I'm going to let my feet touch the mat, and I'm going to put the soles of the feet together and let my knees go wide. The arms can be just staying to the sides, and we are going to do 10 times, just like a butterfly, we are going to bring the knees up and down, up and down, so we let them drop and come towards the midline of the mat. Okay, so we're gonna go like this a few times. You're going to see that the more you go, the more you are going to start feeling the hip flexors uh, active and firing up, okay? So we go like that. I'm going to tell you when we stop, keep going. Good, it's like, right, the wings of the butterfly. We are letting them move and flutter and keep going. I'm actually doing a few more than 10, but keep going like that. Good, let's add three more. One, two, three. And then from there, I'm going to let the knees go halfway down, then a little more, and then I'm dropping. And then all the way up. Halfway, a little more, and then dropping, and up. Half, a little more, drop, and up. Again, half, a little more, Drop and up. One, two, three, up. Three more. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. Last one. Good. And then you bring them back towards each other. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock a little bit from side to side. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to roll over to the side. And I'm going to take a block now. It can be a book or anything that resembles um, a block, okay? And I'm going to put it medium height on the end, at the end of my mat. I'm going to be lying on my left side. So the right leg is the one that is going to be right on top of that block. With my foot, I'm touching the inside of my right foot is touching the block. And I'm going to lie down all the way on my mat. If you have a wall, you can do it at the wall. It's actually an ex excellent reference. So you have the back of your pelvis at the wall, also the, the shoulder blades and the back of your head. So we create one line. My left leg is bent, so I have the knee down. And you can lie down all the way on your head like this in the arm or lift it a little bit, okay? You choose. Now the idea here is that we are really activating core and the right hip is going to be active also. And from here, I'm going to press through my right heel and we're going to lift and tap the block. Lift and tap and up 
and down. I'm not going extremely high because what I want again is to fire the hip flexors and the outer hip. And what we are going to add here is that your right hand is going to go into your right hip and you're going to try and press it away from your chest. So the hip is moving away from the chest as you lift up and touch, hovering that block. Okay, let's keep going. Now bring the belly in and the ribs in. Good, lengthen through the lower back. Keep pushing that right hip away from your chest. We go for three more. Two and three. Good, very nice. Let's press up and switch sides. Now I'm going to put the block on the other side or you just turn around for you. I'm going to go on my right side and I'm going to make sure that the inside of my left foot touches the block. I'm bending my right knee and then I'm lying down either with my head over the arm or a little higher if you need. And now I'm going to try and more or less being the same line as the back of my mat, so it's a straight line. I'm bringing my abdomen in. If you want, you can start already with your left hand on your hip, or you can keep the hand in front to start. And what we want to do is really activate the inseam of that left leg. So I'm going to lift just a little and back, lift and back. Bring the abdomen in and the front ribs in. And then take that left hand into your left hip and push it away from your chest. So it's going towards your foot. Up and down, up and down. Three, we'll go a little further. Four, five, six, we go to 10, seven. Good, keep that inner leg Tone. It's the part that it's lifting your leg, okay? And keep moving that left hip away from your chest. Last one. Good. And we release. Bend the knees, press yourself up. Good, good, good. And now we are going to take the belt, okay? So we are going to lie down again, extend through the left leg, put your uh, right foot is with uh, belted. I'm extending that right leg up. Good, and first what we're going to do here, left hand, keep it on your left hip, and the right leg is going to push through the heel up towards the ceiling, and we are going to open it to the side. Now I want to keep the left hip super heavy, and I want you to imagine that you're pushing with your right heel onto a wall that you have in your room. Okay, so press into an imaginary wall with that right heel. And as you do that, send the right outer hip. So that portion, the outer side of your right hip, send it towards your left foot. So we are creating a rotation that it's sending that outer right hip down towards the left side. Good. Keep pressing through the right heel. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale. Try to bring the front ribs in. Rounding through the pelvis for one more breath. Good. And then slowly push through that heel to come back up. Good. We are going to switch. We hold the belt with the left hand, open your right arm to the right side, and bring that right leg all the way to the left. I don't have enough space, but you go as far as you can, and you let that right hip lift, and you keep pressing through that right heel, and let the head relax to the right. Three breaths here. One more, relax your shoulders. Good, and then pressing through the right heel, we return and we bend the right knee. Take that belt out for a moment, extend both legs, take a deep breath. Good, we are going to the second side. 
I'm going to just switch sides because of the space, but you're going to now put that belt on your left foot, pressing that left heel up towards the ceiling, extend through your right leg, my right hand is gently connected to my right hip to press that side down, push that left heel again, opening up the back of the leg, and then I'm going to start opening that left leg out to the side. I want you to imagine you're using your left heel to push into a wall, okay? And try to lengthen through the sacrum, extend through the right leg, the one that it's not on your belt, and see if you can send the left outer hip towards your right heel. Try to keep the chest expanding. Two more breaths. One more, deep, steady. Allowing that breath to help you make space. Beautiful, then we lift that left leg up and we'll switch into the right hand, holding that bell. You can open the left arm up, out to the side and we bring that left leg all the way to the right. Again, I'm shifting a little because of space, but you take that leg as far as it goes, and you try to, again, keep working through the inner leg and pushing through that heel all the way to the other side. Relax the head, maybe to the left, maybe it stays at the center, three breaths. One more. Good, and then slowly returning towards the center, bend the left knee, take the belt out to the side, extend your arms and the legs away from each other, one long big stretch. Good, then bend the knees, bring your arms alongside your torso, roll over to the side, and we'll come on to hands and knees, okay? Good. So coming towards our usual hands and knees position, we'll take three cat cows, inhaling, arching through the spine, lifting the chest, shoulders back, exhaling, we round. Good. Two more, inhaling, exhale. Good. Add one more, inhaling. And exhale, rounding, bringing chin towards the heart center. We return and we'll move the knees a few inches behind the hips. Tuck your toes and let's lift up, downward facing dog. You can widen your feet a little more than the usual, a little wider. Bring the uh, lower ribs in, push those hips up and back, toning the arms without forcing the joint or uh, the ligaments, but just make those arms steady, pushing the ceiling bones up, like I said, and trying to find a little bit more space in between those ceiling bones that they are feeling like they are moving away from each other. From there, see if you can start igniting more power into your inner heels and send them towards the back of your mat lengthening and straightening the legs a little bit more. Let's lift that belly in, relax the neck and the head. One more breath. Good, and then we walk the feet towards the hands. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lengthen, lift the belly, open the chest. Bring your hands to your hips, roll the shoulders back, press through the feet to come all the way up, and we come to standing. Beautiful, okay, I'm going to face you, and I'm going to say what you're doing, so we go together. Feet together, ignite the inner legs, lengthen through the sacrum, let's inhale, arms up overhead. Good, first we lace the fingers, we extend the sides, and we lift the chest a little higher as you send the sacrum down. 
Lift the belly up towards your nose. One more breath. Good. Then with your right hand, you're going to catch your left wrist. Inhale, lift there. And we go towards the right side, stretching the left one first. I'm saying what you are doing. So we go together if you're facing me, okay? Good. Let's try and spin the chest up to the ceiling. Sacrum long, tone the inner legs. One more breath. Slowly coming back, beautiful. We'll switch sides. We're going to take the left hand to catch the right wrist or a little lower, lengthen and lift. And then we go the other way, pressing through the feet, lifting through the abdomen, taking the chest up to the ceiling. One more breath. Feel that right side opening up. Then we inhale back to center and release the arms. Okay, good. From here, we are going to come back to the top of the mat if you were not there. From there, we are going to inhale, arms up overhead, opening the chest, bend the knees if you need, exhale, fold over the legs. Inhaling halfway, you can put your hands to your shins, open the chest, lift the belly, exhale, release. Raising to the feet, inhale all the way up, arms overhead. Exhaling, palms into the center, the namaste shape, and we release. Again, inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, we fold. Inhaling halfway, exhaling we fold, press through the feet, inhaling arms up, exhaling to center, and we release. Good, now we're going to bend the knees and come with the hips as far down as we can to touch with the fingertips, maybe the floor if you can get there. And from there, we're going to inhale, lift the chest, but keep the hips long, sit back. Good, open up through the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, knees together, inner thighs move down. Keep lifting through the sides of your trunk. Good, inhaling, arms up. And with the exhale, we open through the cactus shape, lengthen through the sacrum, keep lifting through the chest and go a little further up and back. Good, next inhalation, arms up. Exhaling, we fold. Inhaling, halfway. Good, exhale, send your right leg back. Keep the inner legs toned, send the left hip back, lift the belly. Right hand goes down, we twist to the left. Send the shoulders back, open up through the chest. Good, release the left hand. Send the left leg back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, we take plank pose. Exhale, we go back to downward facing dog. Now inhale your right leg up and back. Right foot comes forward. Turn, uh, turn the right hip to move back towards the back of your mat. Spin the inner thighs towards each other. Left hand down, we twist to the right. Lean back a little, opening the chest. One more breath. Exhale, right hand down, right leg back plank. Push back to down dog. Again, plank pose. This time we take the knees down and then we come all the way down to the mat. Inhaling, cobra. Exhale. Tucking the toes, we go through the tabletop and back up, downward facing dog. Good, one big breath in, big breath out. Bend your knees, gaze forward and take a giant step to the top of your mat. Then another one, 
Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, arms up overhead. And we exhale, hands to center. And we release. Good. Then from here, we are going to take our blocks. If you have two or two books, they do the trick. You're going to put them right in front of you and I'm having them flat, okay? So they are not medium or tall. They are in the flat position. We are going to do a really nice game that is for deep core muscles. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to put my hands on the block and the only game, let's say, that I want to do is to press my hands into the block, lift the abdomen in, and lift my right foot and tap into my right leg. If I can get there, you now you tap the block and then you come down. Then again, on the other side, lifting the left foot, tap your left wrist and come down. Right toes to right wrist and down. Left toes to the wrist and down. Again, right toes to the wrist and down. Left. And down. Keep going. Right and down. You lift as high as you can, okay? Wrist and down. Two more. Right to right and left. Ooh, good. From here, widen your feet as much as your mat. Let the blocks just move them to the sides. Relax the head there and the torso. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, and then I'm going to place my left hand right in the line that it's under my heart or my nose. And from there, I'm going to twist to the right. If you need to add the block there, you can add it so you go a little higher and you have more support, okay? Big inhale here, shoulders back, belly up. One more breath. Release, right hand down. Put that right hand down under your heart or your nose. And then from there we go to the left. Three breaths. Last one, head back, belly up. Then release. Beautiful, let's walk the feet back to downward facing dog. Good, from there, inhale, right leg up. Bend your right knee, two circles, going to the right. And then two circles going the other way. Re-extend, right leg up and back, ribs in, right foot forward. Turn the left heel in. Good, send the right hip back. Tone those legs and press through the feet, we come up. Warrior one, my back foot is grounded and I'm lifting that left inner thigh. If the palms get to touch, you can touch them. If you like more of the palms parallel to each other, shoulder distance apart, do that one. See if you can drop the right sitting bone, lift through the sides, send the sacrum down, open the chest. Good, release, right leg back, plank pose. Good, from here we're going to bend the knees and I'm going to turn over to my right. I'm gonna change so you can see me. I'm going to turn over to my right so my right shin goes out and I'm going to be on my right side. It's like a modified side plank. Left foot goes down and then I'm keeping my left hand onto my left hip, glutes in, open through the chest and then send the left arm up. Good, a little game we are going to play here. I'm pressing really strongly through my left foot, glutes in, see if you can lift your right knee off the mat and bring it a little bit forward, and then you put it back down. And again, knee in, in front, and up. One more, knee in, in front, and up. Good. And the last option here, right leg joins the left one for a side plank, opening through the chest. Lift the hips, shoulder blades in behind the chest. 
Good, let's go back, plank pose. Lower through chaturanga or the knees first. Inhaling cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, take a deep breath in and out. Good, we go to the second side, one more breath. Good, press into your right foot. Inhale the left leg up, bend the left knee, two circles to the left, and then two circles the other way. Good, then re-extend, left leg up, ribs in, left foot forward, right heel comes in and down, bending through the front leg, tone the hips in, and we come up, warrior one. Drop through that left sitting bone, lift through the belly, sides long, going up, lift the sternum. One more breath. Good, then we slowly release. Good, send the left leg back, now we're facing dog, plank pose. And now I'm going to bring the knees down. We're going the other way. Again, I'm going to switch so you can see me. I'm turning the left shin out to the side. The left hand is the one going down. Right leg goes out. And first we squeeze the glutes into each other, lift through the hips. You can keep the right hand onto your right hip. Open up through the chest. And then we send the right arm up. Left shoulder is moving back and the left shoulder blade stays behind your heart, okay? From here, I'm going to press into the right foot. See if you can lift the hips and bring the left knee in in front of you. And then back down. Two more. Lift the hips, left knee up in front and down. Last one. Up. And back, good, and then the last option, left leg joins the right one, we lift into the side plank, open up the shoulders behind the ears, so you send them back, good, back to plank, lower chaturanga, inhaling cobra, and we'll take a child's pose here. Good. Let's take here a full minute to reset, breathing in and out to slowly soften the breath again. Notice the sensations, mostly the energy level and the breath. I'll tell you when we get to that full minute of child's pose. So rest here. A little more. Try to soften the skin in the places you feel it's still holding. Moving with the breath to release all what's stagnant, what's stuck. The last few breaths. And then we'll slowly come to sit up. If you can, you'll sit on your heels just for a moment. Right hand to the right side. Inhale. Send the, the left arm up and over, lifting through the chest. You're going to send that left arm as far back as you can. I'm touching with my fingertips. Then I'm going to do the same with the, the right side. Inhaling, right arm up. And I'm sending that right arm back with the fingertips touching. 
Good, now I'm going to lift through the navel all the way to the chest, shoulder blades together, and open up through the heart center, the lungs. Two breaths here. Good, and then we come back. Hands to the heart center in Namaste. Two breaths. Good, before we go up again, bring your gloves one more time. You're going to put them in front of you. They are still flat. They are one next to the other with the distance of my shoulders. So I can put my hands on top. We are going to do another drill. I'm going to take a downward facing dog with my hands on the block. And I'm going to be pushing the blocks away or the books if you have the books. And I'm coming to downward facing dog. In this game, what I'm going to try and do is to bring my right toes to touch my block on the right without touching my mat. It looks like this if you want to watch it once. So I'm going to lift my right leg, I'm lifting through the belly, and I'm trying to make that right foot hover until I touch the block, and then I'm sending it up again. It's a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> We're going to try and go for three, okay? Let's go right leg first, push the blocks away, Inhale, right leg up, hollow the belly, hover the mat with that right foot. Don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. Touch the block, go back up. And again, bring that right leg forward, hover the mat, see if you can touch the block, and back up. One more to go, ribs in, belly in, push the blocks away, bring that leg, whoop, and back up, and release. Woo! Pedal your feet a few times before we switch to the second side. Push the blocks again. Good. Lengthen the sides and the sitting goes up. I'm pressing through the right foot. Left leg goes up. You can lift that right heel a little. Belly in. Hover the mat. Bring the toes to touch the block. And back up. Two more. Belly in. Hover, 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 hover. And up. Last one, touch, and back up. Release that left foot, pedal the feet. Ah, good. Okay, walk the feet towards your hands. Widen again the feet. Relax through the torso, the head, the neck. Put your hands on your hips. Press through the feet, inhale, come up. Ah, exhale and release. Okay, very nice. Now we are going to use the length of the mat, widen your feet, make them four feet distance apart, press through the outer edges of your feet. Okay, we come to standing, wide leg. Good, let's go for this one. We are going to fold but with a little change. So again, I'm going to now say what I'm doing. We are going to inhale the right arm up. You're going to bend your right elbow and press your palm behind your chest or the back of your neck. Left arm goes out, left thumb down, and I'm going to bend the elbow and come with that left arm behind. You don't need to touch your fingers. It's not a requirement, just keep the hands more or less touching your back, head back, lift through the sides, and we're going to fold like this. So we need to use our core and our outer hips. Lengthen forward and fold, press through the feet, outer edges, lift the inner arches, and lengthen as far as it feels okay for today. Move those shoulder blades towards each other. One more breath. Good, press through your feet. Inhale, lift all the way up. Good, slowly release right arm and bring the left arm down. Shake it a little. Good, we have one side to go. Second side, now the left arm goes up. For all of us, I'm doing also the left. Bending the left elbow, hand behind. Good, right arm goes up. I'm going to turn the right thumb down 
and bringing that arm behind, bending the elbow. Again, not necessary that the fingertips touch. You just go as far as it goes, shoulder blades towards each other, lift through the sides, press through the outer edges of your feet. Good, lifting the belly up. Let's go into that fold. Once you get there to your limit, three breaths. Last one. Good, and then inhale, press through the feet, come all the way up. Good, release left arm, release the right one, shake them a little. Heel toe your feet until they come all the way together. And for this one, the last uh, standing balance that we are going to do, if you want to use a wall and you have it close by, you can use it, okay? I'm going to now mirror you, so we all go together. Press into your um, left foot, and first bring your uh, right toes next to your inner left heel. So just that. I want you to firm your hips into the midline of your body or into the center of your pelvis. The glutes also are hanging in. And then you slowly start walking that foot if you want to go a little higher, okay? So it can stay there because the actions are the same. Or you can lift it through the inner left leg and you can use your hand also to help you put that foot a little higher. You can go to the wall and use it as support, okay? So now I want you to press that right foot into the left inner thigh. And that action will be activating not only the inner legs and the groins, but also I want you to use again the hip bones firming into your body, okay? Then we'll bring the hands towards the namaste. Two breaths. Good. And then we're going to send the arms out to the sides, turning your palms up. And for a moment here with that long and tall spine, I want you to imagine you're holding the hands of the people you chose today as the ones you are sending your healing prayers. So even if you don't have them with you here, we are expanding through our hearts because we know that we are all connected. Hug through the hips in, press that right foot into the inner left thigh, crown of the head moving up to the skies, one more breath. Beautiful, then we bring the hands back to the heart center, namaste shape, and we release the right leg and we shake it here. Good. Let's go to our last side, second side. Now we are pressing through the right foot. First, bring your left toes close to that inner foot. You can stay there, firming the hips, lift through the spine, navel up. And then we're going to start sliding that foot a little higher for the ones who are choosing to go a little further, okay? You can use the wall again, like I said. If you want, you catch that left foot with your hand and you bring it into the inner thigh. Push the foot into the thigh, the thigh into the foot. Squeeze those glutes in. When you feel you're stable, bring your hands to the namaste position. Now, I don't want you to force your left knee to go anywhere in particular. Let it be where it goes. Just firm your hip bones into the midline and lift through the spine. One more breath here. Good, and then we'll send the arms out to the sides, palms facing up one more time. A second chance to spiritually and energetically connect to whoever you are missing or thinking of this morning. Perhaps a family member who's far away, maybe someone who is sick, Maybe it is yourself, maybe it's someone who lives with you. Extend that energy, lift it up, expand. We are all connecting through 
are loving kindness, our core, our essence. One last breath. Beautiful, hands back to the heart. Release that left leg, shake it a little. Good, let's come on to a seat. And you're going to have a block again, one last torture. <laughs> Good, so we come onto our backs and I'm going to put the block so I can touch my knees with it, right? It's kind of, it's in the flat position. I'm putting there my blocks and I'm also going to put my elbows, okay? This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> so I'm pressing with my elbows and I'm pressing with my knees. And what I'm going to do here, of course, we're going to try and not let the block fall. I'm going to extend the right leg and then bring it back to the block. Then extend the left leg and bring it back to the block. Don't let the block fall, okay? Again, right leg out and back. Left and back. Hug those abdominals in. Right leg out and back, left, and back. Two more, out, and back, belly down, ribs in, left, and back. One more each side, I know you can do it. Extend, whoops, <laughs> come back, and one, and back. Good, release the head, release that block, hug the knees in and rock from side to side. Awesome work, a lot of hips and core today. Good, okay. Let's cross the right leg over the left one. Put your feet down, open the arms to the sides and let both legs drop to the left. Gentle twist here. If you need to modify the position of the legs, do that. Head to the right. Soften the shoulders, release into that blow, that twist, sorry, relaxing there. Good, then slowly returning. Switch the legs, put your left leg on top. If you need to shift your hips to the left, do that. And then let the legs drop to the right, chin to the left. One more breath. Good, then slowly returning. Taking that left leg out, extend both legs and extend the arms overhead. Stretch both away from each other. Good, and then we're going to bend the knees and roll over to your right side. We're going to press up and I'm going to ask you to find a seat for a very short meditation that we are going to do here. <clears throat> if we have the time, and I'm going to, from there, I take you towards Shavasana and you're going to wait for me, okay? Don't go. <laughs> and um, for the meditation, I want you to try and find a seat that it's comfortable, pillows, blankets, anything, the wall, if you have it there. And um, sit tall, close your eyes. Settle your breath. One more chance here. Try to keep your chin off the chest, lengthening through the crown of the head, softening the shoulders. Notice first your inhale and your exhale. Allow the body to soften and let the breath do what it wants. Draw the inner gaze down towards the heart, easing in towards the spiritual heart. 
Let the mind and the inner gaze settle there. Let it feel easy. Within the spiritual heart, there is a cave. It is a windless cave. And within the windless cave of the heart, there is a flame burning, undisturbed, burning forever. This is the real self. Let the mind rest in this inner light, allowing yourself to remember the part of you that was never born and can never die. And as you rest the mind in this inner light, there will be outside the cave thoughts, emotions, pleasure, pain, but that inner light remains untouched. Staying connected to this inner space of awareness. Continue to stay relaxed. Focusing on that inner light. Understanding the realness of that inner life and all the things that happen outside of that cave is part of the changing or the unreal. The inner flame is forever ignited. Continue to soften into this space without becoming rigid. Let it feel like a return home. Slowly start to bring awareness back to the body, allowing the inner light to influence everything outside of that cave. Continue to reside in this inner light And keeping your focus, your attention into that inner light. See if you can softly, with the eyelids still soft and down, move towards Shavasana. So slowly, perhaps, taking yourself out of that seat into the long of your mat to come towards rest. I'll tell you when we finish the Shavasana. If you're practicing from home, take your time. And as you come to the corpse pose, allow for any props 
that may feel you, may let you feel comfort and rest to be there for you. <laughs>